Good afternoon. Watch your step, especially at one popular Albuquerque park. Dog owners are not taking care of business after their pets do their business. People say the city is part of the problem because the park is missing something most parks have. News 13's Marissa Lucero spoke with Parks and Rec to get answers. Marissa? Kim, there are no doggy dispensers here at the Bear Canyon Trail for dog walkers to clean up after their pets. Well, the city says that there's a reason for that. It doesn't seem like people are respecting the path. Debbie Dozier bikes the Bear Canyon Trail at Arroyo de Oso a few times each week. I don't want to be riding over someone else's dog's business. <laughs> But lately, instead of a smooth ride, she's busy dodging what others leave behind. They're letting their dog do their business and not take the time to pick it up. And then the other people are coming up from behind them and then they have to step over it or little kids have to try to maneuver around it. And it's just not right. Not running over it, <laughs> not stepping in it if I was walking, that sort of thing. And of course, the smell would be offensive too. Dozier and Phillips say the main problem is that the trail lacks doggy bag dispensers, and they're wondering why one of the most popular trails in Albuquerque doesn't have any. The city says the trail won't get any unless volunteers step forward. We look for a volunteer, we find a volunteer, and we put in the mutt mitt stations. The city says in order to put in a mutt mitt station, there needs to be a volunteer to refill it with bags each month. It comes down to efficiency, and we won't have a mutt mitt station that's unmanned. Until then, it's up to pet owners to bring their own. Our tax dollars are paying for the beauty of these paths and the beauty of the parks, and that's another way of encouraging people to pick up their own dog's poop. It costs about $300 to put in a bag dispenser. Uh, here's another problem. We noticed a lack of trash cans along the trail, so there's nowhere for anyone to throw their bags away. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Marissa. Now, people caught leaving their pet's waste for someone else to deal with, they do have to pay $50 and take a class or do community service picking up you-know-what.